I wanted to make a video on Pfizer, and this is following the news that COVID is making a comeback, and there are more cases of COVID, and now people are getting vaccinated for good reasons. And that led me to think, well, I think the vaccine sales are going to be a positive uh, revenue line for Pfizer, as well as positive on profit and positive on free cash flow. It's also wasn't expected. So I think this is going to be a bump to the overall performance of Pfizer's Q3 and their Q4 of FY 2023. So I thought I'd uh, update my analysis on Pfizer and determine if it's a good buy, hold, or sell at this time. I do videos and analyze companies that I invest in. And in some cases, I'm not an investor. In this case, I am an investor in Pfizer. I own a pretty good number of shares. I've been accumulating shares for a couple of years and really believe that Pfizer is a good company to own. I'm going to do some analysis and share that with you. I'm also going to share my process that I use as I invest in companies. Do me a big favor and like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. Now let's get into Pfizer. So Pfizer has a lot of current drugs that they make money on, they have patents on. And what is interesting about the company is that they're developing a good number of uh, of new drugs. And uh, they are also, they just did a, a very large acquisition for which new revenues are going to come in a line for the company as well. So the company is a very broad, big uh, pharma company. And I think that in the in the future, you're going to see the company really grow. That's one of the reasons that I like the company is that they're just not staying put in this industry. You have to keep you know creating new drugs, discovering new drugs, in order to um, be viable, be relevant, and grow. And COVID certainly is doing that. I think their leadership is excellent, and it really shows in the fact that they developed a vaccine in very very fast order. They were able to create a vaccine and just really uh, sell a lot of that vaccine. Those sales resulted in a lot of cash ending up on their balance sheet, and they're using that cash for acquisitions. I follow a process as I look at a company to invest in. I first want to know, do I want to be a part owner in that company and be a fractional owner of a company? Do I want like the industry? Do I think the management team is doing well? Is debt under control in less than three times EBITDA? I want to discount the stock, and that will lead me to a decision of buying, holding, or selling. I'm going to use that scorecard as I look at Pfizer and determine whether I want to buy additional shares, sell my shares, or just hold. What can be a 2023 uh, upside surprise is that people are getting vaccinated for COVID, and a pretty good number of them. A report that I read was that they're expecting about 24% of the people in the U.S. to get vaccinated, and that's a lot of people. Uh, I'm going to guesstimate that's around uh, 80 to 90 million people that would get vaccinated. That would be shared with Moderna, who also has um, a, a vaccine. But let's say they get 40 million of those vaccinations, uh, 40 million times $100 a dose. That's, that's really good revenue for Pfizer. So that's one of the reasons why I'm updating my analysis and thinking, Hey, this is an upward surprise that uh, uh, Pfizer is going to benefit from. I think that Pfizer has upside of 73%. That's a big number. And what I mean by that is that I believe the stock, if you look at their free cash flows as well as their earnings per share, that they they currently have, the stock I think is going to run up to $63 a share if it, it is fairly priced in the future. And currently, the stock market will sell you shares at $36 per share. So there's a lot of upside in Pfizer. I use two methods. I uh, discount the free cash flows the company is going to produce. And I use the cash flows that I estimate the company is going to have in the next four years and then use a terminal value after that. And I also use earnings per share. And I did tick up the earnings per share from the original fork, or I should say the forecast that I used. Uh, roughly about a month, month and a half ago. And the reason for it was I expect the COVID vaccine sales to really bump up that number. The return on invested capital that Pfizer has had is 12%. That's excellent. That's beating the S&P average. And that's really good for a pharmaceutical company. If you would have measured that a year ago, it'd be higher than 12%. But the revenues have come down. 
uh, after they had those boom COVID years where they sold a lot of vaccines. So overall, just a really attractive upside proposition on this stock. Looking at the stock over the last five years, the stock really ran up, you know, in, in the post COVID years when they developed that vaccine, which was excellent. They generated a ton of free cash in these years. I forgot the number, but um, it was a lot of uh, additional free cash flows. And obviously it was a, a pandemic that comes around every hundred years. So they were not gonna keep that type of revenue stream going. But what has been surprising is just the downward path that this stock's taken. Again, they have a great balance sheet well below three times EBITDA. In fact, they have a lot of cash on the balance sheet and they pay a nice dividend. It's getting near 5%. For the year to date, it's down 34%. Now, most healthcare stocks are down, which has been kind of a surprise for me, but healthcare stocks have been down in 2023. But there's just too much value here for me to ignore. So I continue to accumulate stocks uh, for Pfizer because just this proposition here where there is just a very good upside in the stock that is gonna be there. I look at the company, it's well-operated. They have new products coming in line. They have a big acquisition that's going to start generating revenue. And now we have COVID vaccine sales. There's a lot of good things that are going to drive up revenue. I think the next couple of earnings reports are going to be surprising to the upside. And I think they're going to drive the stock upward through the remainder of 2023. The whole healthcare sector has been a surprise for me. There's just a lot of good quality companies whose stock prices have gone down, yet we keep hearing about this recession and these healthcare stocks are great during recessions. So it's one of those things that's uh, kind of surprised me a little bit, but uh, I'm willing to invest in good companies and get them at a discount. And that's how I feel about Pfizer. I think it's very well discounted. It's a quality company. They make money. They make lots of free cash flow. And I think they're going to be growing their top line going forward. So I'm going to accumulate additional shares of Pfizer going forward. I appreciate you watching the video. I hope you found it interesting. Please leave me your comments. What do you think of Pfizer? And what do you think about the healthcare sector? Would love to hear your thoughts on that. Do me a favor and like my video and subscribe to my channel. Good luck investing in 2023.